thank you for coming all the way to uh, to Amsterdam. So I feel quite honoured um, to start with a presentation that really uh, 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 goes about an icon of uh, of the Netherlands. We're a niche uh, company, a stock agency, and um, uh, rights holder. So we develop and uh, shoot a lot of the images ourselves with a production team, and we only photograph flowers, flowers, plants, and uh, anything to do with the horticultural uh, industry. So that's why I've called it a niche story. Um, rights are not the only thing that concern us. It's uh, the whole IPDC and the metadata that we uh, put into the image, which is vital for uh, our success. So let me just sort of go back to the flower a bit. We've got 15 years of research and maybe 150,000 euros of investment to actually create this this one flower, which uh, will supposedly be a fantastic flower. So the flower needs to be registered. The new flower is genetically copyright protected, and the name is given and also deposited, which creates the first set of data which is needed. Now, the farmer who's been involved in this development, he goes to market. He says, this, this tulip is fantastic. It's going to rock, rock the world. Uh, so he's got his clogs on, his hat on, and he sees the euros in front of him. And he's named it the tulip of fashion look. So he goes to the photographer to create a great image. And this would be the great image we're talking about. Um, and then we need as a production company, some more tools, some metadata tools, which are, of course, the EXIF uh, data, the project ID, standardization data, which we've seen in the previous page. His preferences, the search standard, uh, creating the sales funnel, and, of course, the do's and the don'ts, so the rights involved with this tulip and with the image. Now, he's, he would really like his uh, flower to uh, go to the export and go into the domestic trade and be further developed uh, in the agriculture. He does not want, however, his competitor to have his flower or the image of his flower. So that's where the rights uh, come in and say, well, you can't have that. So we've created a system to say, well, you can't, he can't have it and he can. So we deliver the image to the supplier market for plants. Uh, they get the image, or the, the printing company, or a client database, or for example, an online hosting or webshop uh, uh, firm <coughs> will acquire the image and transfer or transpose the metadata into their system and will deliver the image for retail. Now, in this process, we have several moments where the metadata uh, needs to be understood and also the rights need to be transferred and understood by the receiving party in order for it to be delivered to the right person and not to the wrong person because otherwise the wrong people are going to get that flower and the competition is going to go off and the farmer is going to say, well, look, I'm not going to give you my fantastic flower to photograph anymore. That's going to be the last time. So we're end of a, uh, out of a business model. Now, the farmer has also heard about something really great. It's called content marketing. He said, wow, that, 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 that's, that's something. And I know this company, Visions Pictures, they, they do something with that. God knows what. Um, and apparently, it's called editorial reach. So we've told him about that, saying, well, we can, we can actually um, publish that image to the consumer via magazines and, and, and create some, some uh, traction. So there, there's our second uh, industry. Uh, but that, that, that proves to be a bit difficult in this uh, transfer of metadata, because the transferring of the metadata is almost equal to transferring the perception of the value of that image to the next party. So um, we export the image to uh, various channel partners, and we've got these sort of little um, uh, the de designers, I've, I've all given them a, a skirt, so they're all girls at this point. 
Um, <laughs> and they publish uh, the Fantastic Flower into uh, great looking magazines towards the consumer and they have this lifestyle experience. But this is where our problem lies. Is the value of the image really understood by our designer? Um, now we have a nice partner, I won't mention any names. Um, they have this really great, I'd almost call it automated, but not quite, metadata protocol where they run transfer um, a system where you uh, uh, implement CSVs into their system and they say, well, thank you, that's great, we'll start sales through our automated system. And they have an output of 30 cents per image per year. Um, so we need quite a lot of images to get a bit of revenue out of that. Now we have a great partner, number two, and uh, I think he's, he's, he's fantastic. And the reason why he's really good is because of that chap there with the heart over his head. Because he looks at the image and um, he understands the unique value of the niche content of the great flower and how great it actually is. And, but he also loves his clients. So he starts creatively looking at the metadata we've given him. He starts looking at the clients he's got so, well, how can we make a match? How can we make the girls at the end understand why this image is so unique? So he's added metadata, and he has a completely different output. 15 euros per image per year. Uh, well, he really is a great partner, especially when we talk about volume. So he's manually adapted machine-readable rights on that submission. So the value is understood. The image is used into editorial, but also, uh, uh, remember our other industry, it's also in retail, in packaging, in plant tags, and God knows what. And you can see the same image coming back from several directions. So what happens is that pool is created and our farmer gets really happy because everybody wants his flower. Now, there's one little snag. The girls have to understand the rights involved, because Mr. Competitor here is still looking for that image, because he, he, he's got this uh, 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 bulb that looks like it, but uh, he'd like to have that image, because everybody thinks then, then he's selling those bulbs. So this is where the tricky bit uh, for, for, for our part is, and so I'm really open to what's, uh, what's happening today uh, uh, during this meeting to maybe solve this, uh, this problem. So to summarize, um, I would be uh, really in favor of uh, having creative control over metadata on each transition to the next uh, party, into the next database. So understand the unique value, use the relevant metadata for that customer group, optimize for system integration, their system integration, so it works well in their sales funnel, and uh, then target that metadata towards their client expectation. Now this would require, point two, is to maintain a human overview on that autom automation of that uh, content or the metadata of that content. So here we go, F focus on machine readable rights is vital for efficient integration. Development on creative interpretation of machine readable rights is needed to market niche content with maximum effectivity. So how do we create the maximum output? So I'd really be in favor of still having a personal view on, on automation. And so who knows, the Tulipa fashion look might just rock the world. And uh, that really is uh, what we do. Thank you.